Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green, and I am Tony Green. So this, um, if you're not familiar with my show, it's a call-in show. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the call-in number is 845-277. Every Monday live, can I say live like 10 more times? 10. 10 more times. Um, it happens every Monday at noon central time. You can join me. If you want to see the live version, you can join me on YouTube uh, for the live stream to watch it. You can call into Blog Talk and join me on Blog Talk. Just listen or Call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side. I love those calls, by the way, when I get to help somebody connect with a loved one. I love that. Um, and if you are wanting to watch replays of the show, let's say you're brand new. Welcome. Thank you for joining me here. Um, I You can see all of my replays on YouTube. And you can see them on my website, Tony, T-O-N-I-G dot info. You know, I just have to tell you, even though I used to work in marketing and promotions, that was not a good marketing move. I thought because I'm a channel and I channel information, that if I use the term info like information, it would be clever. No, nobody uses dot .info. It was not a clever move. And half the time, I forget it's info. <laughs> not clever. Not clever at all. Um, okay, some exciting, amazing news. I've shared it a couple of times. I am going to keep sharing this because I'm so honored and humbled by it. So the first, this this is uh, Rude Rangers TV has picked up the show and they are live streaming it on their stations. Now, if you want to know all the stations that Rude Rangers has, go to um, RudeRangersTV.com and I'm trying to in obviously look for my paperwork it's not my eyes are darting all over the place as i just tell them what you're doing so you don't look like a complete weird weird weirdo my words don't always work and apparently i've moved that paperwork okay so um rude rangers tv.com they also have an app that you can download so you can live uh you can um Watch the shows via an app on your phone or your tablets. I know my show airs Monday at 6.30, I believe, on Roku and Amazon Fire Stick. I was calling it Amazon Prime for a while, and then someone corrected me. It's okay. I don't mind being corrected. I'm okay with being wrong. I'm wrong a lot. We all are. We just don't admit it. Okay, anyway. This show is also airing on WSCS. And so if you are watching me on any of the Rude Ranger stations, if you are watching me on WSCS, if you are watching me on YouTube or my website, wherever you are watching me, thank you so much. I'm really grateful. I'm happy that you're here with me. Hey, Genevieve, I have my first person um, saying hi on YouTube live chat. And if you wanna type in a question there, I'll be happy to try to get to that question too. I'm gonna go to callers on the call log. For the callers on the call log, here is my um, thing. Please have one question prepared and please make that question an exact question. Um, if you want to connect with a loved one, I just need your name, the, the, not your name, your loved one's name and their relationship to you. Okay. Uh, I know there's something there. There are like a million things I always. Oh, 
Yes, here's the next thing. WSCS. If you are watching on WSCS, the TV station, and I go over 30 minutes, you can watch on Rude Rangers or you can go to YouTube and watch the rest of the show. Right after this show, I'll be recording a session of Create a Life You Love Live. And we... Um, We'll be talking about, I think, I think we're going to talk about how to create a business you love. I was going to say relationship, but I was corrected. Okay, I'm going to go to callers now. Let's go to the very first caller who is um, <clears throat> area code 415. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Ann from Washington State. Hey, Ann, how are you today? Good. Excellent. How can I help you? There's a lot of allergies. A lot of allergies here, so I'm kind of happy. Oh, I, yeah, I think like everywhere. Thing, everywhere. Crazy phone. Yeah. So, how can I help you today? Ann? Well, I was thinking, yeah, um, I wanted to ask about, I haven't, about how to. What's going on with my sleep? I haven't been sleeping much. I, I, but I'm, I'm also thinking a lot about my mom. So, and I don't know if this, my mom has a more important method or sleeping. Okay, so I, I'm sorry. It's a little, your um... You're a little gargle. So if you have me on speakerphone, please take me off of speakerphone. Um, because if I'm having difficulty hearing you, I know the audio for the shows will be very gargled also. So I'm sorry, what was your request, your question, or your connection? Uh, my question is about things that are stupid. Why am I not sleeping at all? Okay. Okay. Well, usually I well, here's what I'm going to do. And here comes the first clearing of the day. Um, okay. So we're just going to clear everybody listening, re-listening, and that should help you. As soon as I start clearing, I feel like coming from the chest area, which tells me fear, stress, anxiety. Um, oftentimes that happens when we have a lot going on, a lot of new things going on, a lot of um, different things going on, or just in the state of the world today. It, I mean, it can be anything, but I'm what I'm getting the most is you just, your energy needs to be cleaned up. And which sounds very vague and generic, but I intentionally stated it that way. So, who, as we do that, I'm already feeling lighter for you. Um, and I want you to know you should be able to sleep better. Now, for anybody, I, and Anne, I'm going to do a second clearing for you, for anybody listening, anybody re listening, anybody having difficulty sleeping. They're having, uh, I'm going to clear that so we can go to bed you know, when we, when we're ready and lay down and fall asleep. Um, there's a lot going on astrologically. There's a lot going on, uh, you know, with it, it, in our, in our world today. And there's just a level of uncertainty, no matter how certain we feel. Um, there's just a level of uncertainty going on in the world today. So, Anne, Thank you, because we did two clearings. I want to tell you, uh, oh, thank you, by the end of the week, there are some, you know, I know you didn't ask this question, but, but what the heck? I'm getting it, so I'm giving it. Yeah. Okay. By the Sorry. end of the week, there are going to be a lot of changes that come into your life. You're not going to even see these changes coming. You're going to have something really unexpected. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. I love that. Something, uh, something really unexpected is coming in for you. This is going to come in. Now, I, I'm hearing two things. I'm actually hearing th three things. I hear month, mid-month and Monday. So here, today is Monday. Okay. So it could be today or it could be next Monday. But what I'm going to guess, 
and this is a guess, when I hear things, listen, folks, somebody's not out there typing up words for me or saying it verbatim. The way it works is uh, the way we communicate on the other side is um, we tele like um, telepathically. So when these informations come through me, I just open my mouth and things come out. Sometimes I'll he'll hear a word or two. Um, and then I kind of try to fill in the blanks. So if I fill in the blanks incorrectly or a little bit off, um, that's, it is what it is. Another thing, and Anne, thank you for being patient while I do this. Another thing is when you call me, I'm not telling you about what happened yesterday or the day before. You don't need me or any other psychic or to row reader to tell you what's happening today or yesterday. You know that. You know that. You're reaching out because you want the best possible uh, uh, um, predictions, and they are predictions, of what could happen in your future or why something's going on in your life. Now, so if I give you a prediction don't hang up the phone or go on with your life going that's bs that didn't happen no of course it didn't happen yet <laughs> if you want me to tell you things that already happened then you need to go see somebody for your memory you don't need a psychic <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying um <laughs> and I'm bringing this up and I'm laughing because there was a woman who was upset that I didn't tell her she had had hip surgery. And I just looked at her. I go, you don't, you don't know you had hip no. surgery. Why would I tell you you had hip surgery? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand why you would want me to tell you something you already did. Um, anyway, so, and, and let's remember also anything that spirit or angels tell you, you have the power to navigate. It's not set, set in stone. Your life is yours and you can navigate it. Some things they say, they say as warnings. Other things they say to prepare you, this is coming in. Make it as powerful and big as you can. So, and coming back to you. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited because this is going to be really good. Okay. Um, I feel like there's a really big change coming into your life. And I feel like by mid-month, which we are almost there, you are going to know what this change is. But you are not, you are not going to know the totality of this change. You're not going to know how powerful this change is going to be. Um, you're going to get, uh, it's almost like you're going to get little seedlings of it and you're going to have an idea of, 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 Ooh, this feels big. Now I want to explain something else real quick for everybody. Um, sometimes we hear something or we think about something and we get nervous. We get that feeling. And here's what I want you to know. Sometimes that's our soul telling us we're in the right direction. We're, this is a good thing. It's our soul getting so excited. Now, now, Anne, hey. back to you. I keep. I I love that. I I love that you're my first caller because this is so good for everybody listening. Because there's like even though I'm giving hey. you your message, there's so much content here that everybody listening, re-listening can like get into okay mid-month you are going to know about this however i feel like little seedlings are going to start coming in this week what does that mean that means you might have a dream a feeling or a knowing that something is coming but i do feel like somebody is literally going to say something to you i feel like you are going to hear something and when you hear this at first you might go into panic mode and then they're saying hold up wait a minute <laughs> so if spirit is funny with me they love to throw songs into everything um 
mostly because I cannot be serious for two minutes straight. <laughs> if things get too heavy, like they lighten my energy and they like throw something funny in there. And that is exactly how life is supposed to be because the, you know, our energy is everything. So they're saying, um, this is a crossroads, but it's a really good crossroads, but you might not see it that way. So when this information comes in, when you start to hear, and the, they're, they're, I think they're intentionally bringing it to you a little bit at a time so you can acclimate to it. Yeah, so, you, it. yeah, you can get right. into that place where you're adjusting to it. And I'm going to tell you, you have two women on the other side that are standing like right up to my left, and they are steady, strong, bringing this information through. And they're like saying, we're the mamas, we're the mamas, we're the mamas. Meaning mom, mm -hmm. grandma. Yeah. And I, I want to say to everybody, you know, listen, I'm, I don't do the tell me who's around because hundreds of people will come in. Um, not only people mm -hmm. you know, but just anybody who's around will drop on in. But these two women showed up and they're, they're just saying, listen, everything's oh, yeah. coming in. It is divinely guided. Do not get nervous. Do not say no. Okay. You don't have to say yes right away, mm -hmm. but don't say no. Now, I think. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. I'm pretty sure if I had to guess, this has a lot to do with love relationship and career. So over the mm -hmm. next um over the next week and then into the next month and then into the next six months, where you are now is 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 going to completely and dramatically change. You are not going to be the same person at the end of six months, which is our goal. Well, if that is not your goal, yeah. we need to we need to change that. We need to be changing every day a little bit in in some way. So yeah. in six months, things are going to start coming in, and I'm I'm getting the goosebumps again. Things are going to start coming in. Things are going to start changing. You are going to start having baby steps that turn into leaps and bounds and they're bringing it to you slowly so you don't freak out you don't panic you don't go into that place right. of oh, um but know that it is coming and it is going to be good and you are going to love everything when it's all said and done so prepare yourself for these changes there are some choices you're going to have to make over the next month that you might think i don't want to choose just because i don't I don't, uh, I don't feel like this is uh, the statement. I don't feel like this is right. I don't know what that means because they're not giving me the content of the changes. What I'm going to tell you is sit with it and feel it differently. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Uh, this statement might be familiar to you because it's 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 coming straight from their their mouths. Don't worry about what can go wrong. Think about how it can go right. Mm -hmm. Now, I I think that's a beautiful statement for everybody, every day, in everything. We spend most of our time trying to navigate sure. what can go wrong. Oh, but what if this happens? Sure. What if that happens? Listen, what if it doesn't? And why don't we turn our what ifs into good what ifs? So don't worry about what can go wrong or how this won't work out. Focus on all the ways it's going to go right. And if everybody did that with everything in their life, this whole world would be in a completely different place. Okay, and those are the messages I have for you today. I hope this wow. was a good thing for you. I do want to hear back in like, you can call back anytime you want, obviously, mm -hmm. and I love that. Um, but I want, to, I want to hear what some of these things that are being brought to you are. I want to hear what some of the changes are. Um, so please do keep me posted, okay? Wonderful. Yeah. What a way to start the week. Oh. I'm, I'm invigorated now. Thank you excellent. So much. Excellent. Thank you so much. Have an amazing rest of I'll, the day. I'll keep listening. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, sure. please do, because there will be more clearings. Thank you, love. Okie dokie. I'm going to go to the next caller. But before I do, really quick, since I brought up the whole what if thing, this is one of my books, um, What If a Transformational Guide. And it's it's exactly about that. It's about focusing on the good what ifs. It's about um, focusing on what if everything went right? What if I looked at the world differently? So there's um, questions that are posed in here. What if? And then you can just write out your response to them. Let's see what this what if is. I hope it's a good one. I laugh. I wrote the book. Why would I put a bad one in here? Um, oh, okay. What if you can change your life? What if that is part of the purpose of this life? So the first part is like, what if you can change your life? And everyone's going to go, of course I can. I can't. Or yes, that's impossible. Or I'm stuck. But what if the purpose of your life is to change it? To get, get unstuck. To let go of what's not working and to move into what could work. Listen. You got where you are today by taking chances. You may have thought they were your only choice, but you took that choice. You made that decision. And then we get into a job, we get into a relationship, we get into a, a what, whatever. And then we think, this is it. And this is, this is one of my things I always say to people. Why do you think if you go from this job or career or business to the next one, it's going to be exactly the same? Maybe it'll be better. But you're not going to know. You're not going to know until you take that shot. I love this statement that was given to me from above. It says, you know, we're all given a, a, a hand. Like if you're playing poker, we're all given cards when we're when we're born, right? You might not like the hand you're dealt, right? You might not. A lot of us don't. A lot of us look back and say, why, why, why this? Why that? What? Right? But just like in a good game of poker, and I love, I love poker. I love playing poker. I'm not serious and I don't do high stakes, but I just love it. It reminds me of, um, when I was younger with my mom, we would always get together with family members and, and play cards. Um, so the, the idea is to keep trading your cards until you get the hand you like. The game isn't over until you're in the ground or burnt or not burnt. What is that called? Cremated. <laughs> the game isn't over. I mean, I know retired people that work harder than young people because they want to, because they're doing what they love. I have a really good friend who's about to retire and he's not like, oh, I'm just going to sit back. He's like, I, I, I'm retiring. I'm looking at all of my options and figuring out what my next thing is because I'm not done. I'm not done. So the uh, here's the thing. Until... We take our last breath. We control our cards. And if you don't like the next uh, job or business that you get into, go to the next one. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Keep changing until you find that right fit. But every every friend, every coworker, every business, every everything teaches you what you do like what you do want, what you don't like, what you don't want. And then you say, okay, universe, I liked this and I want this. Now I want more of that. Let's go. And then you go to the next. And, and the same holds true for relationships and coworkers and friends and family. And the one thing I'll say, and I know this from every ounce of, of my being. When something continually presents to you, it's probably something inside of you 
that needs to be healed. And I personally, I have experienced this. And personally, I can tell you that once you start healing what's inside of you, less people annoy you. <laughs> Less people get on your nerves because your nerves are healed. Less, less people, you fight with less people, you have better relationships, and you do much better at work. I think one of the things going on in this world today is we are so emotionally taxed. Holding on to things and going through our daily life and we're holding on to the past, trying to get through the day and worried about tomorrow. Who wouldn't be emotionally taxed? Who wouldn't be frayed out like bad wires? So the goal is to let go of the past. That's the first biggest, best thing you can do. So let's do a clearing on that. We have let go of the past. No. And this one is not a one and done. So when you get to the, the tw about the 26 minute mark of this show, um, that's where this clearing is. So just, you know, if you want to re-listen to this show, to, to letting go of the past. And I, it, I'm going to tell you something. There are three things to work on that are, if you can accomplish this, you're in your life. I mean, your entire life will change maybe at first monthly and then weekly and then daily. And then by the second, the first thing is letting go of the past. You cannot go into new energy and have that energy be new, new experiences, better, higher frequencies, love, relationships, uh, whatever it is, and drag old energy with you. And I want to I wanna compare it like this. I'm going to compare it with moods because when, when we talk about energy, people are like, I, I have good energy. What the, what the hell is she talking about? Okay, well, that's not good energy, first of all. But let's compare it to moods. Um, you can't, if you go into a place where everybody's happy, and you're um, angry, you're going to take that anger with you. You can try to fake it, but that anger is going to be there. And the minute somebody says something, does something, looks sideways at you, whatever, you're going to be like, ah, did you see that? And that little bit of anger is going to start to spike out. Okay. Another way to say it is, you can be really happy and then start talking to somebody who has a lot of drama, sadness, chaos, and they start talking to you and you can just feel the life being sucked right out of you. First of all, stop, 90 seconds. stop talking to those people. Okay. Uh, second, um, don't, don't allow yourself to change. Just excuse yourself from that. Um, so that's what I mean by energy. So if you're carrying all of this with you, that's one thing you really need to get rid of. Now, I'm going to really quick, just there's two other things, but let me just say, anybody listening on WSCS, thank you so much for joining me here today. If you want to see the rest of this show, please go to YouTube or Rude Rangers tv.com and you will be able to see the rest of this show. Thank you.